We have received uh, multiple requests for launching specific online courses related to oil and gas uh, industry. So with this, we are glad to launch uh, our online course uh, for the design of pipe rack for oil and gas uh, industry. As you may be aware that uh, uh, in, in oil and gas industry, pipe rack will support uh, process pipelines, utility pipelines, uh, electrical cable duct, instrumentation duct, as well as uh, air fin cooler, etc. So with this very close uh, interface uh, is required with the different disciplines like uh, process department, uh, piping department, uh, electrical department, instrumentation department, as well as uh, equipment department. Course ID is uh, ONG STR uh, 001, uh, design of pipe rack for oil and gas industry. We'll be addressing the, the design of pipe rack using American standard and we'll be using the software State Pro, RAM connection and RCTC. The course will commence from 19 September uh, 24 uh, and uh, we will be having sessions on Monday, Wednesday and Friday uh, from 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So the course uh, uh, is likely to be completed in the uh, span of uh, almost, we can say, one month of time, around uh, 23rd October 2024. Quick uh, highlights of the course, uh, we'll be having uh, overview of oil and gas uh, industry. We'll be talking about important interface areas which are required between different uh, disciplines like process, piping, instrumentation, electrical, equipment department in the context of uh, pipe rack. We'll be adopting case study based learning uh, throughout this uh, course and for design of the pipe rack we'll be adopting American standards like ASC 716, AISC 360-16, AISC 341-16 etc. If it is required by the participants uh, then we'll also talk about uh, relevant Indian codes as well for the design of the uh, pipe rack. And throughout this course, we'll be using uh, Software State Pro, RAM Connection, and uh, RCTC. But let's say if you are uh, using any other uh, structural analysis and design software, then that is all, uh, also absolutely fine. Uh, you can also use the uh, different software during, uh, during this course. And if required, let's say if there are specific doubts related to uh, other software, we can al always connect separately uh, during the training program. We'll be giving one uh, assignment problem uh, to the participants uh, for the uh, effective learning throughout this course. So the participants will be requested uh, to develop uh, the, uh, the computer model or let's say to develop the design of the pipe rack gradually as we move in our discussion. Uh, so let's say uh, different steps like preparing structural system, preparing geometry, ap application of loads, application of design parameters, etc. Step by step, uh, participants can develop that model. And then we can have online joint review of let's say what are exercises which have been performed by the participants, as well as we can answer the specific queries which uh, might have arised, let's say, uh, by performing a particular step. Uh, so that uh, those queries will be addressing before moving to the next step. Right. In the first session, we will start uh, uh, discussing about uh, overview of refinery processes, the uh, different refinery products and uh, different uh, processing units. We will try to understand the difference between basic engineering and uh, digital engineering. Uh, brief scope of work of different disciplines, again in the context of pipe rack, we will try to understand. And importance of interface uh, between different departments for design of pipe rack. We will also uh, talk about uh, 3D model review process which is being adopted in oil and, oil and gas industry. So in the session number one, it is just kind of an introduction to oil and gas industry before we start uh, uh, let's say talking about details of the pipe rack. In the session two, we'll start uh, with the understanding functional requirements of the pipe rack because it is extremely important for design of pipe rack uh, to understand uh, the, the requirements of different functions or different disciplines. And for that, uh, effective interfaces required with all, all different functions. And that, that's what we will address uh, throughout this course uh, as and when, let's say, opportunity arises in the discussion. We'll talk about, uh, uh, we'll talk about difference between uh, process pipelines and uh, utility pipelines. Uh, the brief about uh, piping stress analysis, how it is being done, and then how different piping loads are generated. Uh, arrangement of different uh, facilities on the on the pipe rack like as we discussed uh, process pipelines utility pipelines electrical cable duct instrumentation duct air fin cooler etc 
what is the function of airfin cooler in the process plant uh, or let's say uh, in the pipe rack we will discuss the load data which we are receiving from the piping uh, department and what are the important areas which needs to be cross-checked uh, in the input we'll talk about uh, fireproofing requirement that means uh, what is the extent of the fireproofing let's say up to which height of uh, of the pipe rack uh, fireproofing is done up to how much length fireproofing is to be done so and what is the interface which is being carried out now when we talk about uh, let's say whether it's american standard or let's say indian standard or let's say any other international standard so those standards are not developed exclusively for the process industries so for design of pipe rack as well as uh, let's say for the design of facilities or of, of the process industry that is one uh, good reference available which is uh, process industry practices pip document so we will talk about pip documents in in brief and uh, we'll try to capture a few important areas or details which we'll be taking uh, for the design of the uh, pipe rack we'll talk about uh, a very important uh, force uh, for the pipe rack which is thermal anchor force and uh, thermal friction force and we'll talk about uh, how to prepare the structural system of the pipe rack that means uh, how to decide uh, the bay where we can provide the vertical pressing how many number of bays uh, which we need to consider for the vertical pressings etc We'll also uh, discuss about uh, extent of uh, fireproofing and then what should be uh, the material of construction. And in this session, we will hand over uh, input uh, to the participants for the assignment uh, problem as we just discussed earlier. Uh, in the next session, we'll start with the review of structural systems uh, prepared by the uh, participants and uh, then we'll proceed uh, for the geometry generation, preliminary sizing of the members, grouping of members, uh, moment release, member truss, beta angle, fireproofing load, etc. in the computer. We'll also talk about the support condition, which is very important, whether we should consider pinned or fixed, etc. We'll start the next uh, session with the review of uh, models generated by the uh, participants. Then we will initiate uh, discussion about uh, different types of loads, which is dead load, uh, then let's say application of uh, empty load, operating load, and the test load uh, from the piping into the uh, computer model. We'll also talk about thermal angle force, thermal friction force. We'll also talk about uh, thermal anchor load and its application in the software. And we'll talk about uh, uh, concept of thermal friction and uh, local versus global design of the structure for the uh, thermal friction. We'll also discuss about the temperature load on the pipe rack in this session. The next session will start with the uh, review of load applications which, are, which have been done by the participants and then we'll address the queries uh, based on the same. We'll uh, discuss uh, one of the important area in this session which is model analysis of the pipe rack wherein we will perform dynamic analysis uh, of the pipe rack and uh, we will uh, study different mode shifts and that will give us more insight about the structural behavior of the pipe rack under different loading conditions. Uh, thereafter, we will initiate the discussion on the wind load as per uh, ASC 716 uh, and we'll also consider the ASC guideline uh, for the wind loads for the uh, petrochemical uh, facilities. We'll, we'll also talk about uh, the application of wind load in the software. We'll start the next uh, uh, session with the review of wind loads uh, applied by the participants in their, their model and then we will move to the seismic load uh, discussion. Uh, as per AC 716. Uh, we'll discuss about uh, risk category, seismic design category as per AC 716. We'll also talk about important uh, areas such as response modification coefficient, over strength factor, deflection, amplification factor, as uh, etc. as per the American code. We'll also talk about uh, equivalent uh, lateral procedure as well as response spectrum analysis and uh, how to consider the same in the software. Right? 
we'll start the next session with the review of seismic loads applied uh, by the participants in their model and then we'll move to the load combinations uh, as per asc 716 as well as uh, with reference to pip document which we discussed earlier now here we will uh, uh, touch upon very important part which is uh, which type of analysis to be considered in line with AISC 360-16 because we have an option for performing first order elastic analysis then there is a second order elastic analysis which is p-delta analysis and also there is an option of direct analysis method as per AISC 360. So we'll understand uh, p delta analysis and then how to perform p delta analysis in the software we'll also discuss about important uh, parameters such as uh, initial system imperfections notional loads adjustment to stiffness in direct analysis method etc and finally we will discuss how to uh, consider appropriately direct analysis method in the software in the next session, we'll start with uh, review of analysis performed uh, by the uh, participants. We'll talk about very important area, which is interpretation of analysis uh, results, wherein we, uh, we will talk about how to validate uh, the results or whatever we are getting from the uh, software before we move to the next step of the, let's say, design of the structure. We'll initiate a detailed discussion on, uh, on design of steel members as per AISC 360-16 and then we'll uh, discuss uh, each design parameter for the AISC 360-16 which is mentioned in the software State Pro. We will do comparison between uh, manual calculations of design of steel members along with uh, a software output which we are getting uh, using AISC 360-16. In the next session, we will continue the detailed discussion on the design of uh, steel uh, members. We will discuss uh, the balance design parameters, uh, which we could not cover in the previous session. We will talk about uh, observations on the uh, results when we are doing, let's say, comparison between manual calculations and the software results. The next session, we will start with review of design of steel structures performed by the uh, participants. Uh, and then we will initiate a discussion about uh, connection design uh, for the uh, pipe rack. So firstly, we will talk about uh, a design of shear connection, which is uh, uh, beam to column connection, beam to beam connection, as well as let's say design of bracing connection, etc. Uh, so we'll perform the design of connection using uh, RAM connection software uh, in, in this uh, course. You can utilize uh, any other software or let's say you can also perform manual calculations. And we'll also see uh, the integrated connection design approach which is available in the software State Pro and RAM connection. In the next session, we'll start with uh, review of uh, shear connection design performed by the uh, participants. Thereafter, we will uh, initiate a discussion about uh, design of moment connection, base plate connection, etc. as per AISC code, as well as we'll perform uh, those uh, connection design using RAM connection software. In this session, we'll also talk about very important area, which is the uh, anchor bolt uh, design. The next session, we will start with uh, review of uh, moment connection or base plate connection performed by the uh, participants. Thereafter, we will touch upon uh, one of the very important area uh, that is how to avoid uh, vibration in the pipe rack because air fin cooler uh, which is placed at the top of the pipe rack is uh, having a rotating fan. So there is a possibility of vibration in the pipe rack. So we'll talk about that and then how to avoid that vibration in the pipe rack structure. In the next session, we will uh, talk about uh, foundation design of the pipe rack. So we will consider two approach. We will consider open foundation as well as we will consider piled foundation. So for the open foundation, we'll talk about uh, important areas to be taken care for the uh, foundation design. How to decide whether open foundation or piled foundation to be adopted for a particular site. Uh, we'll talk about all uh, different stability checks which are required for the uh, foundation design. Specifically, we'll talk about uh, contact area uh, requirement, right, for the foundation.
In the next session, we will review the design of open foundation performed by the uh, participants. And uh, thereafter, we will have a discussion about uh, pile foundation, wherein we will discuss how to arrange the piles, what should be minimum thickness of pile cap, etc. And then we will perform design of uh, foundation using piles, uh, uh, let's say with the RCDC software. And then we will have a discussion on the output which is generated from the software. And in the last session, we will have uh, firstly quick uh, review of uh, pile foundation design performed by the participants. And then we will have open discussion uh, about the design of the pipe rack, uh, whatever balance queries, uh, let's say we have, which we can address in this session. And then finally, we will have concluding remarks and uh, way forward. Okay. So looking forward to see you uh, inside this unique online course for design of uh, pipe rack uh, for oil and gas industry. Uh, the title of the course is ONGSTR001. The course will commence from 19 September 24 and the link for registration is uh, mentioned below. Thank you.